Uh, now it's time to move, move on to next week, the games. I believe this is NFL Week 11. So let's get started. Tennessee... Tennessee and Jacksonville on Thursday night, like I said, we'd be talking about the Color Rush uniforms again. And Tennessee's Color Rush uniforms, have you seen those yet? They're all... I haven't. Are the, they, well, actually, are they the navy blue one or the, the, the light blue They're all powder ones? blue, all light blue. It's a, it's a really nice uniform for Tennessee. It looks really nice. Now time for the bad news on the Color Rush uniforms, the Jacksonville Jaguars uniforms. Matt, I recommend you look this up on whatever laptop you have in front of you right now. I, I, I they're the brown ones, right? They're brown. They literally look like they might have pretty much crapped their pants or something. It, it is atrocious. It is the most atrocious brown I have ever seen. Yeah, it's it's not pretty. I saw them and I don't know what they're doing. If anything, I thought they would do the teal, like the, the Jacksonville teal that's on the eye. I thought they would do that and thought, well, maybe that would look cool, but. I don't know why they chose the brown. It's horrendous. I mean, I don't think it looks bad on the jersey, but adding the pants on with that and the socks, it just looks bad. It, like, the whole thing, like, if they just did, like, white pants or something instead of the, like, going the whole color rush thing, it actually might be decent. Yeah, I don't... The thing is, is I don't know what they're thinking with the uniforms. I get that they want to be all... I don't. I'm not gonna say cute, but I get that they want to try something new. But this isn't. Oh, this isn't working. I, I, the the jerseys. Don't, I mean, I don't. If they want to change the color, that's fine. But the color rush, I, I'm not into it. No, definitely not into it. Other than uh, those Tennessee uniforms are good, though. But uh, moving on to the actual prediction for this game of. A team. I'm going to go with a team who actually has good uniforms for this. I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans just because they're not wearing that putrid, putrid uniform that Nike gave Jacksonville. What are you thinking? Are you going to take Titans too? Yeah, I am. I. The Jaguars are so bad here. Let me get this light. The Jaguars are so bad that they shouldn't have won that game. They really shouldn't have won that game. The Titans defense, the way it's playing, I think the Titans... To win this game. Yeah, uh, I definitely think Tennessee has what it takes to win this game easily. Uh, time to move on to this game is a pretty intriguing game. We have Indianapolis on the road against Atlanta. So who are you going to take in this one? I think this one's kind of a toss-up. I'm going to go Atlanta. I, I think Atlanta, they need to get back on track. I think that Atlanta should win this one. Uh, I'm going to go opposite. I'm going to go the Indianapolis Colts. They've been playing better lately. Atlanta's been struggling. I think this Colts team, their defense is finally stepping up. Their offense is starting to get moving a little. I think they have the upper hand in this one. Unless Devontae Freeman goes off in this game. I'll say that. Unless that happens. But uh, now we got to move on to our next prediction. Uh, St. Louis and Baltimore. So, uh, oh, man, this is tough. I mean, St. Louis just got their butts kicked, but Baltimore lost the game. They probably shouldn't have lost. I'm going to go Baltimore. Baltimore Baltimore is at home. Uh, I'm going to say St. Louis. St. Louis has kind of bounced back and forth in games between good and bad performances. I think that might be on their way to a good one. It seems whenever the Ravens lose a close game, they tend to lose the next game by a little more and then finally pick up a victory after that. So I think I'm going to go with St. Louis in this one. All right, so Washington and Carolina. Well, Washington got a great win last week, but Carolina played well. They won two. I'm going to go Carolina. I don't think that there's any way that Carolina loses this game. I'm going to go Carolina, too. Uh, I I don't see them losing this game. I, I could see Washington somehow pulling off like some miracle upset. Like they seem to be kind of an under-the-radar team. You know, Washington's actually in the playoff race. This is a team that yeah, can very well end up... Yeah, I mean, well I talked up... about this earlier. They're still in it. I... All right, and we're back. So, uh, what was going on there, Matt? I believe we were picking games. All right. So, we were on the Washington and Carolina game. And the Washington... Uh, we were talking about how Washington's still a relevant playoff contender. Yeah, pardon me for the interruption. Uh, we had a altercation, but 
as for Washington, yeah, this is a good example uh, of how really you're never out of it, especially when you're in a division like the the Redskins are in. There's no certain team right now that looks like they're going to be the favorite. So moving ahead, I I think I like the Eagles in this division, but I don't know. I, I At this point, I don't know who's going to win it. I would say Philadelphia. I like their defense, but... I'm just waiting week, week and week to, for their offense to explode, but we haven't seen that. Uh, no, we haven't. If Philly can finally get that offense going, maybe they play. Do they play the Giants at all soon? Or I think do they have two? They games played the soon? Giants once and they beat them. That was in Philadelphia. Oh my god! Hang on. 